Hey there, Tascalo here. Welcome back to another thrilling travel video. This time, coming straight from Iceland's freshest volcano eruption. The hike to the crater was a real challenge, spanning 20 kilometers with no marked trail. The wind was playing tricks, making us shift directions, adding a spicy twist to our adventure. Expect some breathtaking drone shots right from the crater's edge, maybe a bit too close for comfort. To kick things off, we'll warm up from the morning chill by the burning moss that goes on fire from the lava. Iceland sure knows how to keep us on our toes. Iceland, known as the land of fire and ice, lives up to its reputation for a reason. So sit tight, get comfy and join me on this epic journey to explore Iceland's latest volcano. Get ready because this adventure is about to kick off. Hello! A new beginning of a new trip is here. We're going back to Iceland to see the lava and I'm super excited. I booked the flights yesterday, we're flying today. It's Friday, the 14th of July. The eruption started on the 10th. We'll also do a drone retreat over there. So there are a few people coming. Unfortunately, this year to reach a volcano, you have to walk 20 kilometers or 11, 12 miles, go and come back. But it's more of a hike, but uh, it's good company and the mesmerizing lava thing we will manage. So, Iceland, I'm coming for you. So, we had two stopovers. The first one was in Stockholm. In Stockholm, we were the local time with 10 minutes to two in the morning. I did some work on the computer, and after a couple of hours, the first samplers came out, which was great. We're getting the second flight, and we have one more. The view from the plane was gorgeous during the early morning, and we quickly arrived to Copenhagen from where we had our last flight to Iceland. The one gate from the other, it's 14 minutes walk. Denmark's airport is huge, but we're almost there. I was so excited that we'd be close to the volcano soon. And off we go, we said bye to the windmills of Denmark, and soon after we started seeing the raw beauty of Iceland, I couldn't believe that I had a window seat that I could see the eruption from the plane. We haven't even arrived, and the level of happiness was so high. High in the sky. Dear And as soon as I came out the airport, I met Mohan Belal, which helped with organizing the drone retreat. Hey, we made it to Iceland! It. Let's see some volcano! We picked our car and headed directly to the capital. We saw the beast of the car, some street art, and we arrived. The weather was luckily amazing. We could see the volcano in the background, which was about 40 kilometers away. And you can see the depth videos of my last visit in Iceland on the playlist linked in the corner above. Before we start for the volcano, we visited the photo gallery of one of the best photographers in Iceland named Lurid Belegursi and we really got inspired for what we are going to witness in real life. We had the hot chocolate. We have ready for the lava. We're finally starting the hike to the volcano. It's about 10 kilometers to go, 10 kilometers to go back. It's midnight, it's pretty clear, we can see the smoke. Here's the sunset, you can see behind. Hello, Belal. Hey. So, are you ready? Ready and waiting. Yes, let's go. We have done a quarter of the hike. The volcano in the background, we're super excited. The terrain is okay. Right now, it's 12.37.9. And after three hours and ten minutes, we have arrived. I'm so excited to have arrived. Now we're gonna start the flight from the drone. We're gonna go to the time is 3:11. And in half an hour, we're gonna have the sunrise. Listen. This is the sound of the lava. It's spectacular. First flight starts now. For the next three minutes, we're going to enjoy some drone shots from the latest eruption in Iceland.
In July 2023, Iceland's little Hrutur volcano burst into life, following a series of earthquakes that had prepared the ground for its fiery show. This eruption was truly extraordinary, with a massive fissure of about 900 meters. This eruption was more powerful than both the 2021 Ograda Jal eruption and the 2022 eruption. Thankfully, there was no threat to the residents or infrastructure. By August 5th, the eruption has settled, at least for now, but experts suggest it could return. This volcanic spectacle garnered international attention thanks to its accessibility, close proximity to Keflavik, International Airport and Reykjavik, and the new hiking trails that made it a magnet for adventurers and nature enthusiasts. Compared to the previous two, it was colossal, up to 10 times bigger than the 2021 eruption and 3 times larger than the 2022 event. The eruption may be over, but the area remains fascinating to visit. The round trip hike to Little Hrutur covers roughly 20 kilometers. No direct roads lead there, so you should head to parking 1 or parking 2, accessible from route 427, about an hour from Reykjavik by car. The trek is demanding. Hiking shoes with ankle support are essential due to rocky and slippery terrain. Dress warmly and wear a waterproof jacket and remember to carry ample water and high energy snacks since there are no facilities like restrooms or trash cans on site. Little Hrutru means Little Ram in Icelandic and it's situated on the Reykjanes Peninsula, known for its natural beauty and volcanic landscape. The peninsula rests on the mid-Atlantic ridge where tectonic plates meet creating a hot bed of volcanic activity and geothermal energy. In geological terms, Reykjanes is a youthful region formed over the past 7 million years, in contrast to the ancient 16 million year old West Fjords in Iceland northwest. As we were coming closer to the sunrise, the temperature was at its lowest, so we got next to the burning moss to warm up. We had to be careful with the direction of the wind so that we don't inhale the fumes coming up. And we are ready for a more risky drone flight to capture the best possible shots that you can all enjoy. This time we tried to take close-up shots from the lava inside the crater. When I was watching with my eyes the drone approaching the crater, I was scared it might melt from the heat, but at the same time what I was seeing in the screen was mind-blowing. So the time to see the drone shots has come. If the drone has survived, we'll find out later in the video. Yes, the drone came back in one piece. We changed the battery and we sent it for the last flight before we started the modeling hike back to the car. Iceland is home to around 130 active and dormant volcanoes, primarily aligned along the mid-Atlantic ridge. Fadragapjal was Iceland's newest volcano before Little Hrutur stole the spotlight. Hundreds of thousands of people visited the volcano 
which was very tourist friendly and brought attention to the spectacular forces of nature present in Iceland. Looking to the future, whether Little Hrutu or another volcano will be a star of the next eruption in the Rexanus area is still uncertain. Little Hrutur mountain reaches about 312 meters above sea level with a prominence of 93 meters. Even though the eruption has calmed, the volcanic processes beneath continue to shape its fate, leaving its future a captivating mystery. And it's time to say goodbye to the volcano. We had a blast, amazing experience. This is time we started. Six and a half hours, so we start at 12, we reach here about three, three and a bit. We stay for six and a half hours. The time went like this, almost was more, but we still need some more places. Very pleased with the outcome. Thank you, air, volcano, lava, Iceland, for being so nice. So, until next time. <laughs> The wind was so strong on the way back, which made the hike much harder and really exhaust us. So we had the power nap and it's time to let's go back to the car. After 14 hours, we came back to the car. We have so much wind on the way back which made the time harder. But the experience was fantastic. Now we're going to Reykjavik, recharge, have some food, have some shower, and heading to explore more places here in Iceland. So we're going to pass some rivers in the highlands, explore some magical landscapes, enjoy the hot springs, carry on with the retreat and get some banger shots, walk on top of a crater, be in a surreal place that looks like Mars planet, see the best midnight sunset, witness a mountain that looks like the Rainbow Mountain in Peru, so stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun. Bye!